you can't use all of it! Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, a very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Products that are made so that you can't use all of it. Now, follow me on this. I'm not talking about things like potato chips. As an example, where we all know the bag is enormous. It's like a giant sack, and then you open it up, and it was all full of air, and the chip level fills up less than half the bag. Why the hell do they do that? Just make the bag smaller, cut down on the bag materials, and be kind to the environment. But of course, they won't do that. They lure you in to buy a giant bag of chips because you think you're getting a, a the duffel bag full of chips. And you know, and they know that you know you aren't. But we still buy the fucking half-empty garbage bag of chips. No. What I'm talking about are products that look normal and you think you're getting a good deal. But you can't use all of it! Like men's cologne that comes in a, an atomizer, as an example. You spray it all over your body after a shower, and you smell great, and it's easy to spray. And the, and the sprayer helps you use the cologne in only the, the amount that you need. As opposed to when you pour cologne into your hands, and you always pour out too much, and half of it stays in your hands, and the other half trips to the floor, and it's a fucking mess, and your house smells like Old Spice, and you smell like the animal that you are. But here's the problem with the atomizer. That little fucking straw hose thing never reaches the bottom. So there's a certain point, and I know you have all had this happen to you, where there's a little cologne left, and you do everything you can to get the straw to reach it, but they never make that straw long enough to reach anything on the bottom of the fucking bottle. So you have the bottle upside down and sideways, and you do anything you can to get that straw to reach the last shitty bit of cologne to spray out, and it just won't reach, and you wind up throwing a little cologne away in the bottle. And you can't unscrew the cologne bottle top. It, it's not made that way. It, it's harder to get into than Fort Knox. What the fuck? Is this a joke? Did the research scientists who invented this draw thing in the cologne bring in testers after giving them a bottle with only that little bit left and then, and then watch them behind a, a two-way mirror and laugh while watching these idiots try to spray out the last little bit of cologne? I bought 12 ounces of cologne. I don't want to use 11.8 ounces. I want all the cologne. All right, here, here's another one, but it's the complete opposite. You buy a big bottle of mouthwash, and it's full up to the top of the bottle neck, and you think, wow, they did not cheap out on this product. Look how much mouthwash there is. They filled it right up to the top, but they make that damn bottle out of thin and soft plastic. So now every time you, you get a new bottle of mouthwash, you open up the top and pick it up and squeeze the bottle and all that fucking mouthwash comes out on the top, it goes all over your hand and wrist and spills on the floor, on the counter, every time. And you remind yourself, damn it, I have to remember not to hold the new bottle so tight and you still do it every time. Why can't they make the bottle mouthwash bottles of thicker plastic so this doesn't happen? Toothpaste. We have all had the traditional tube of toothpaste that you can squeeze at a certain point. You have to start rolling up the back end to push the wasted toothpaste to the top so you can try to use all of the toothpaste in the tube. But then they started making the beautiful toothpaste containers that have a big wide flap on the top and you could stand it straight up upside down and, and it looks all pretty and doesn't look like like a dead shriveled up tube of toothpaste on your bathroom counter but the problem is toothpaste is thick and doesn't keep moving down because of gravity and of course those bottles are made uh so thick you can't squeeze the toothpaste down like you, you did with a with a tube of toothpaste so you, so you just know you're, you're throwing out all the toothpaste stuck in the sides of the bottom of the container. What are you going to do? I'm, I'm not going to cut the fucking thing open to get the unused toothpaste. I'm not cheap. 
I'm not Annie Marley. But damn it, I want all the toothpaste I paid for. Products that are made so you can't use all of the contents. That's what ticks me off.